society glamorizes alcohol so much. What is never shown is what it does to people like me, or people worse off than me. Hi, my name is Sean Carter, and I suffered a traumatic brain injury, or a TBI, when I was 22 years old. If I knew then that the decision I would make the night of March 27, 2005, would affect the rest of my life, putting me here in this wheelchair unable to walk or talk, you can bet I would have not done what I did. In March 2005, my son Sean Carter was critically injured in a single vehicle crash. How do you live beyond being unable to walk or talk? As a mother loving that child, unable to walk or talk, how do you move forward with your life? We chose to create a foundation, When Sean Speaks Incorporated, and help others, help others through brain injury research and that's where you come into the picture. We have a tremendous vision at, with When Sean Speaks, but without support, financial support, as well as just psychological, good job, good, keep it up, um, that's wonderful, but it doesn't, doesn't buy up any piece of equipment to help someone exercise. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't help in, in providing those individuals that will be necessary to to oversee the exercise that's, that's provided, those types of things. So we need that financial support to be able to help put this, to make this vision come to life. I am going to make a challenge to you minors. I challenge you to do what is different. I challenge you to not drink until you are at least of legal age. Even though Sean can't walk or talk, He's become a public speaker. Using his computer, as you'll see throughout this video, he talks to young people and we take our tour on the road. We speak at high schools, middle schools, universities, churches, and other organizations. When Sean says he's gotten in a wreck before from all of this and he crashes mom's car and you know, we don't really, as humans, pay attention to signs a lot. People hear about breast cancer, about HIV AIDS. They hear about cardiovascular disease. More people are touched by traumatic brain injury. It's the silent epidemic. Have you heard about it? You know, you really got to make responsible choices in high school. It's like you said, some of the choices you make are only for one night, and that one night can alter your life. And um, I take from this that you got to take every, you can't take anything for granted in life. You know, one thing Sean said was, all he wants to do is just have the ability to walk from his uh, bed to his couch. Please think of me before you get into a car with a friend who has been drinking. Think of me before you drive your car too fast. Think of me when you reach to change the radio station in your car while talking on the cell phone. Think of me and save yourself. I've learned that being the good girl in school isn't such a bad thing. After living with brain injury for a few years, we realized that life goes on. Unfortunately, benefits for patients or people with traumatic brain injury don't go on. There comes a time when that stops so we need to step in our organization, When Sean Speaks Incorporated, and help others. And that's really what gives us incentive for moving forward with our lives. We want to help others and we need your help. It really was all about the importance of decisions, you know. It wasn't necessarily, he didn't even make the decision to drink and drive, Sean didn't. It was just a decision to get in the car, maybe that was a bad decision. Maybe decisions that he was making back in high school to start drinking then. Um, and then, you know, his mom even got into things like talking on the cell phone and changing the radio station. And so more than any one particular thing, it was just focusing on making the right decisions. People see life in black and white, and we try to bring color to our world. But it's important that you realize that gray matters. <laughs>